Imagine there's a programmer who wants to start a business. He's excited, he has his business idea, and he's ready to build out the software. However, although months go by, he is constantly trying to add more and more features and overthinking the process of business. Sadly for him, he never releases his product. When programming and business mix together, we usually have two types of people. We have the standard programmer and we have the entrepreneur. And the issue is that a lot of us programmers tend to be programmers first rather than entrepreneurs in business. You see earlier on when I was trying to start businesses, trying YouTube and trying to build out platforms with my coding skills, I always thought like a programmer rather than an entrepreneur. I was always trying to add more features, trying to add things that didn't really matter. I was overthinking these small issues, kind of like what a normal programmer would do. And what separates a programmer that actually succeeds at business compared to ones that fail is how they distinct between being a programmer and an entrepreneur and managing both. You see, someone that's programmer first is always gonna focus on unnecessary features, solving programming problems, and spending most of his time throughout the business's life coding. On the other hand, someone that is an entrepreneur first will focus on things such as marketing, sales, as well as coding. And although he, the entrepreneur is also coding, the programming is not the end all be all of his business. And rather than me being an entrepreneur that was focusing on finding the right market, talking to people about my business idea, trying to focus on sales and trying to improve how I was selling my product, I was always focusing on the product, product, product and wasn't really being a regular entrepreneur. And although you could go far as a, just a programmer, you will go 20, 30 times further if you start focusing like an entrepreneur. And so right now you have two options. Either you can stay like a Gilbert and simply just be a programmer and be very average at business, or you can get a little bit uncomfortable, be like Aries who we want to be like, and think more like an entrepreneur first and then a programmer. I know it is very uncomfortable to get out of your comfort zone. You want to just be a programmer that sits behind the desk and doesn't talk to customers, but trust me, you will never go far in business if you constantly focus on one aspect of the entire entrepreneurial journey. So for example, right, like I'm building out the course platform where there's gonna be everything for the YouTube channel. Rather than adding a ton of code and unnecessary features, such as like a community page where people can talk, which will take me months and months to do, I'm simply focusing on the features such as watching a course and purchasing things on there. And by only focusing on those two main features, not only can I write better code because I'm only focusing on two things, but I'm also gonna get it done faster because there's not a bunch of things that I have to do. And guess what? If I wanted to add a community chat thing in the future, I can, it's no big deal. And I know it's enticing to just wanna build things because it's cool, but in business, you will always be beaten by someone that is a entrepreneur first. And by the way, if you wanna join the Discord community where we have like 300 members, where we help each other out with coding bugs, uh, have opportunities like business and job opportunities on there, and just talk and help each other solve bugs, then I'll leave the Discord link in the description below. Happy coding. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.